Hi everybody, Samantha Gladish here from holisticwellness.ca. I am a holistic nutritionist that specializes in weight loss and young women's hormonal health. And today I wanted to post a video answering one of your questions that came in to my private community group. And so if you are a woman and you are not a part of my holistic wellness private community group, you can head on over to Facebook and you can just search holistic wellness private community and uh, join my group for free. It's uh, an amazing group where there's hundreds of women in there. We all connect and support each other on our health journeys and I'm there to basically answer your health questions and really offer some support and guidance, um, whether that be for hormones or nutrition or exercise. Um, you know, weight loss, whatever it may be that you're struggling with, um, I'm there to offer some help and guidance. So uh, join us in that community. That would be great to have you there. And every week I, I post a, uh, on Tuesdays actually, I post Q&A Tuesdays where you can go in and, um, you know, specifically ask me questions. And uh, there's this amazing thread of all these questions that come through from women. And it's just one of the best days because I love going in there and seeing what's on your mind. And, um, see what you might be struggling with. And so I love going in there and, and being able to help. So one of the questions that came in the other day that I want to share with you, because I'm sure this is a question that's come up for you or something that you've thought of in the past. And um, it's as we head into October, which is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, I think it's really important that we really shine some light around breast health and how, how we can support our, our breasts. Because, um, you know, there's a lot of things that we're doing wrong. <laughs> and there's a lot of things we can be doing right. So I want to show you what you can do that's right. And that's holistic. So I'm going to answer one of the questions that came in here from Lisa. And Lisa says, okay, this may be a crazy question or concern, but here goes. I was reading last week about bras and how they can make it difficult for your lymphatic system to work properly. I have no intention of not wearing a bra. I was wondering if I supplemented with iodine, if that would help. What do you think? So great question, Lisa, and thanks for shining some light on this because it's important that we address this. So our lymphatic system, before I really answer the question, um, our lymphatic system is basically like a filtration system. It's a detoxification system in our body. I'm sure you've experienced in the past, you know, swollen lymph nodes from maybe being sick or something. Um, you've got lymph nodes here. You've got them around your collarbone. You have them underneath your armpit, which essentially those lymph nodes are basically draining into the breast tissue and then sort of in and around the reproductive area. You also have lymph nodes there. So these are, again, a filtration system. There's a lot of fat soluble toxins that we come in contact with, whether that be through our environment, through what we drink or through food and through the products that we use, the body care, everything, the deodorant, which has a lot of aluminum in it. And we, you know, put that on and the aluminum goes right into um, the lymph nodes and it basically drains right into the breast tissue. And there's actually been studies done on women who have breast cancer and they have very high amounts of aluminum in their body or in the breast tissue. So it's really important to know. Um, we wanna switch out our, our, our deodorant. We don't wanna be using aluminum you know, antiperspirants. We wanna get that out of our diet or out of our body care regimen. And um, we wanna switch to something that's natural. So that's you know one tip for sure. Um, aside from that, the lymphatic system, like I said, it's a filtration system. And so, you are essentially, if you're wearing a really, really tight bra, which I can understand might not always be so easy to avoid wearing. Um, I mean, I'm pretty lucky that I actually work from home. So I'm basically in my pajamas all day sitting behind my computer. And yes, I mean, I, I avoid wearing a bra as much as I possibly can, but I get that that's not always possible. So if you are wearing a really tight constricting bra, basically you are constricting the lymph nodes in this area. You're affecting how the lymphatic system filters um, because you're constricting the glands. And so a lot of women are wearing bras with underwire and that's even gonna pose more of a problem because you have, it's just more constricting. Um, so I get that you can't always go braless, but you really want to maybe avoid the underwire bras and you wanna wear something that's just a little bit more loose, something that's just not as tight. And I get that you might not be able to do that all of the time, but if you can try to do that 
most of the time or or at least more than what you're currently doing that would be really great um even paying attention to things like the sports bras you're wearing you know because obviously those are made to be really tight and constrictive because you're holding things in that's something else that you want to pay attention to you don't want it to be super super tight you it's like you really want your your breasts to breathe in a sense because um, you don't want to keep them constricted because of the lymph nodes and the detoxification and filtration that happens in and around your breasts so you really want to be conscious of not constricting that area um, you know, another thing would be, like I mentioned, the deodorant. You want to get rid of the deodorant, especially if it has aluminum in there. Switch to something that's cleaner um, and all natural. You can even make, you know, deodorants at home, uh, your own homemade ones with some coconut oil and some baking soda and, you know, some essential oils. So those were two would be two things that you would do to support breast health. And your another part of your question there was iodine, if you can just supplement with iodine and if that would help. So iodine um, is so important for breast health and even for thyroid health. Um, if you're wearing a super constricting bra every single day, all day long, and you take iodine, that's not going to sort of um, counter, you know, counterbalance the effects that the bra is causing. Right, so you can't just sort of fix it by taking the, the iodine. Um, I understand that it might kind of be like the easy way out. Um, now, supplementing with iodine would be great. Um, you don't want to overdo it with the iodine. Maybe if you can get your levels tested, that would be ideal. Or um, you know, just definitely don't overdo the dosage of basically what it suggests on the bottle. Um, I mean, iodine is important for breast health, but at the same time. If you're wearing a really tight constricting bra all day long, all the time, then I mean, yeah, there's only so much that the iodine is going to help with, right? And it's also about looking at other areas too, like the deodorant, like all the other um, body care products that you're using and all the ingredients in those. Um, even if you're wearing super, super tight jeans, you know, you have lymph nodes in and around your reproductive area as well. So if you're wearing super tight jeans, that's going to affect... Um, potentially the reproductive area, right? So you really want to be care careful of this tight constricting clothing that you're wearing. Um, I know as women, we love to wear really tight clothes. We want to be sexy and I think it's great. We just don't want to wear those things all of the time. Wear something that you can breathe in. Wear something that's comfortable and still sexy and still pretty, but just a little bit more, you know, flowy. Um, so those are my tips. That's my uh, answer to your question, Lisa. Thanks so much for posting that. And if you have other questions about hormones or weight loss or just your health in general, again, you can go over to Facebook, type in Holistic Wellness Private Community, and you can find me there. And you can connect with myself and other women, or you can head on over to holisticwellness.ca. And I've got a ton of information there for you. And um, you can connect with me there and uh, even on social media. I love hanging out on Instagram at Holistic Wellness Foodie. And you can post some questions there for me and I would love to connect with you. All right, guys. Thanks so much. And um, I will see you next week with another Q&A. Take care.